Our top story tonight, we continue to track the progress of Hurricane Flozell. The National Weather Service has issued a severe hurricane advisory and is urging everyone to stay indoors for at least the next 36 hours. No! Oh, what happened? Uh, the wind must have knocked the satellite dish loose. Oh, crap, and I was going to watch G.I. Jose. I'm bored. Yeah, this sucks. What are we supposed to do all day? Well, how about we play charades? Oh, yeah, okay, okay, me first, me first. Okay, it's a movie, all right? Movie, movie. Peter, there's no talking in charades. Okay, okay, sorry, sorry. Okay, one word. Peter, you're still talking. Okay, okay, right, right, right. Fletch. Is it Fletch? It is Fletch. What do you want to do now? I got an idea. How about you all sit there quietly while I make dad noises? <coughs> <coughs> Nice. Brian, what are you doing? Ah, oh, jeez, Stewie. Scare the crap out of me. What you got there? <sighs> okay, I'll tell you, but you can't tell anyone. You, are, are, you have to be really cool about this. Yeah, of course. These are mushrooms. It's a psychedelic drug. Makes you see weird things and feel happy for a few hours. Are you going to be cool? Oh, yeah, I'm totally cool about that. I, I, I have a lot of friends who do it, and they're willing to do it around me all the time because they know I'm so cool about it, and I don't judge them. Well, here we go. Yeah, that's what my friends say, too. Well, here we go. Oh, dude, I think I can feel it, too. I'm getting the context high. Boy, the rain's really coming down. I know. i never seen anything like it. But it's kind of nice for us all to be together like this, huh? Brian? I'm going to cut my ear off to prevent World War II. Ah! Ah! Oh, God! Oh, God! I wonder. Ah! What the hell are you trying to do, man? Those mushrooms are messing you up! Lesbians and deaf women wear the same clothes. Yeah, yeah, they sure do, buddy. All right, just stay calm, Brian. You'll get through this. Don't worry, Brian. I'm going to stay by your side all night. All right? Shh. Shh. It's okay. It's okay. Do you like my soothing voice? Do you like my soothing voice? Re -re 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 Return the map. Re -re 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 Return what you have stolen from me. There, there, there. Everything's gonna be fine. You're all right. I think I'm... I think I'm dying. Just relax. And get some The wheels on the bus go round and round. Oh, Peanuts! Did you try the chicken, buddy? <laughs> Brian. Brian. 
Ryan. Oh, Stewie. Uh, uh, Stewie? Yeah, I'm right here. Oh, my God, your lip looks really weird. Can we fix that? Can, can, uh, uh, get that out of there. Ooh. Oh, I'm so thirsty. Let's get you downstairs so you can drink some water. All right, let's go, buddy. Let's get you some water. Okay, no, hold on, hold on. Let me put the bowl down first. You're going to spill it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down. Slow down. So what do you guys want to do now? Oh, hey, I know. Let's play finger bang. Bang, bang. I'm going to finger bang you, Chris. <laughs> Not if I finger bang you first, Dad. Bang, bang. I'm going to finger bang the two of you at the same time. Bang, bang. Hey, me too. Bang. Oh, no one wants to get finger banged by you, Meg. Why don't you just go do that to yourself, Meg? Okay, I'm going to sing the opening chase music from Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Feel free to join in. Damn it, Meg, will you stop that? That is so annoying. Oh, that was annoying? What about your stupid, obnoxious humming? Meg, don't talk to your father like that. Yeah, shut up, Meg. No, you shut up, Chris. I am sick of all you guys ganging up on me. You guys all think you're so much better than me. Oh, Meg, that is the least fancy thing I have ever heard. Look, Meg, I don't know what your problem is. I thought Dad's humming was pretty entertaining. You know what? This is what I'm talking about. This is a perfect example. You're my brother. You're supposed to be on my side, and you're such a bastard to me. How am I a bastard? Oh, you want the full story? Chris, you treat me like you hate me, and I don't know why. You say hurtful things to me constantly. Do you have any idea what that feels like? What if I said those things to you? What if I started calling you a fat, zitty loser who has no friends and smells like an old woman who has birds for pets? All right, Meg, that's enough. You've had your little dramatic outburst. <laughs> hey, I got an idea, Mom. How about we talk about Chris's mother, huh? Why don't we talk about you? Oh, for God's sake. Look, let's not turn this into some big thing, okay? Oh. Oh. Oh, God, that feels so much better. You know, Brian, you may be a dog, but you're a pretty cool cat. Stewie just said that. Take it home with you. Oh, I'm sensing a lot of negativity here. What's going on? Yes, you're right, Brian, there is. Meg seems to think she's taking some kind of stand here that's going to make us all feel like we're inadequate. My God, you're condescending. Jeez, look at those two. They're going at each other like an Italian guy and a black woman. Look, the bottom line here, Meg, is that you're just taking your own problems out on everyone else. Oh, my problems? Oh, I see. Is this coming from my role model mother? The shoplifter, the drug addict, the porn star, the whore who let Gene Simmons and Bill Clinton go to town on her? Oh, so what? I all those things are behind me now. I'm a better person now because of those experiences. <laughs> Somehow you have the nerve. The arrogance to consistently and ruthlessly point out my shortcomings. All right, well, fine. Okay, I'm not the perfect mother. Who is? I had to trust you. I had no choice. I needed you to protect me from the world, to, to be my guide, to help me navigate the difficult, confusing, and vulnerable journey to becoming a person. You have done none of those things. You're my mother, and you took a child's trust and smashed it into bits in a 17-year-long mission to destroy something that you killed a long time ago. <laughs> oh, wow, everybody's already tweeting Stewie just said that. Uh, you're right. You're right, I'm a terrible mother. I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry, Meg. Can you ever forgive me? Oh, God. <laughs> Oh, Meg, I don't know what to say. All of those things you said about me are true. I have been a very bad mother to you. I have no excuse. I just have this horrible, overwhelming desire to point out faults in you. I don't know where it comes from. It may be it's because I'm self-conscious about being a bad parent. Uh, you know, I, I've been sort of just hanging back here, taking all this in, because I didn't think I had a dog in this fight, but my money's on Harry Potter over there. Oh, you think that's funny, fat ass? Well, I don't know if it's funny. I, I think it's clever. I mean, you, you got the big glasses there. I, I, I don't know. T tell, tell, me, tell me what's on your mind. Oh, I'll tell you, Mr. Selfish-Ass Dad. Hey, 
That's Mr. Mr. Selfish Ass Dad to you, young lady. You have no education. You have no interest. You just do whatever reckless thing you want to do whenever you want to do it without regard for anyone else. Oh, oh, and when you're not terrorizing the community with your impulsive escapades, you're being a total jerk to your family. You shove your daughter's face in your ass and you fart on it. <laughs> if someone in the outside world could see the way you treat me, you would be in jail. <laughs> and you have nothing to show for it. Your only arguable accomplishments are your kids. And look at us. We're a disaster. Hey, watch it. You're a total and complete embarrassment in every possible way. Take a good look at yourself, Peter Griffin. You're a waste of a man. Wait a second. These are criticism. Have either of you guys been listening to me? Do you both just have your heads up your asses? Dad did. Look, he's got crap on his ears. That's unrelated. Chris, I don't like that language. Well, I don't like your cooking. Well, I don't like having to literally empty the farts out of your pockets whenever I do your laundry. You're the one who's always cooking Brussels sprouts and broccoli. It's like an Irish bar fight down there. Why don't we ever get any good food? Yeah, Bonnie gives Joe Wonder Bread. Well, then go live at Bonnie's house. Then I could finally sleep in and not have to answer your stupid questions at 5 a.m. My curiosity peaks in the morning. You eat all my Dan and yogurts. You know, I've never confronted you on it, but I've often thought the same thing, Peter. Yeah, that's exactly what he does, because he's a selfish, fat idiot. You shut up, all he is. I didn't ask to be in this family. Uh, I'll go get him. Peter, you come back here. You know, that was, uh, that was pretty cool the way you finally stood up to everybody. Uh, I don't know, Brian. I, I mean, I, I meant every word of it, but you saw what happened. What do you mean? They all turned on each other like a pack of wolves. Well, so what? That's not your problem. Do you think it's possible that, that this family can't survive without some sort of lightning rod to absorb all the dysfunction? Well, that's, uh... You know, that's incredibly noble and mature, Meg. You know, I think you might be the strongest person in this house. You mean that, Brian? Absolutely. Mom? Dad? <laughs> Dad? Go away! Dad, come out of there. No! I don't deserve no better than living with this sh- and Dad, I'm so sorry that I made you feel this way. You don't deserve it. None of you have done anything wrong. I took all my problems out on you guys, and that wasn't fair. Oh, so this was all about you. It wasn't about us. Yeah. All right, that makes sense. You see, I thought it was weird that I was a bad dad. Meg, how could you put us all through that? I'm sorry you... Hi, I'm Stewie Griffin. Tonight's Family Guy was a very special episode about drug use, but the simple fact is, it's no laughing matter. To learn more about drugs, visit your local library. There's probably a guy behind there who sells drugs. Good night.